Gulfy Cochrane has been running in the West End for over 15 years. Has drawn millions of tourists, senior citizens, emails and students. Our story, however, is about three of those students who only dream to be in the West End. Wow, that was amazing. I'd give anything to be in Rotherotti and play crap. Oh yeah, Jason, you'd be a great hero. I had been looking for a new female lead. I'd be so easy back in the day. There's a rumour that I'll be auditioning at local theatre schools like ours. Do you think they're going to have to get you chosen? Come on, all Amanda. Anybody knows it'll be you. What does that mean? Don't play dumb. You know. Anyway, you'll find out soon enough if you're going to get the chance to audition. Because tomorrow we are back at the academy where we see with the best. Come on. Feel the academy. That was the name of our school.
somewhat less than impressive. Does anyone have anything to say? Go! <laughs> <laughs> Enough, or you'll be glued to chairs in one of Miss Sharp's three hour lectures in Bath. A what of what? Heard of elephants? Of course I have. Sasha, darling, I think it's time for you to choose your second career option. Uh, who's next? Um, Lucy. Yes, Mrs. Fairbird. My dear girl, I see potential. But if you don't work on your craft, you'll never make it into a West End show. I have already been in the West End, you know. So have millions of tourists. Right, the six chosen students I have selected are... Sasha, Snow, Tigger and Tiger, Amanda, and Lucy. See? Michelle, I need a word. When is that woman going to get off my back? And how long have you known about this? You know about what? The competition? What? Lucy, come on, that's just silly. Silly, am I? Well, at least I'm not stupid. Don't think I don't know what you're up to. Up to? Lucy, I think we're all just stressing. Mummy Pie is a pressure, her precious little girl, girl, is she? Well, just a little bit. Stop whining. At least she supports what you do. Yes, Mrs. Spurgeon. Oh, 
well, we've actually made our job quite hard. So, um, Miss Speak, could you please comment on Sasha's performance, please? With pleasure. Sasha, you were splendid and it's been a bountiful journey following you and becoming such a manipulous performer. However, you were a trifle stilted, so perhaps a smoochy more active and a simple less inertia, perhaps. Oh, I completely understand, Miss Speak. Thank you. Okay, Super Shark, could you please comment on Amanda's performance? Be my own if it's feel good. Amanda, your voice is sublime and your tuning is spot on. You're a star, Amanda. Just not quite as good as me at the height of my career. Thank you, Miss Sharp. And Headmaster, could you please comment on Lucy's performance? <coughs> oh, uh, Lucy, you did really well, but I think you need to wake up and realise that only hard work and discipline will make the use of your natural gifts. Well, you're entitled to your opinion, I suppose. We're giving you our expert opinion for your benefit. So, Miss Clancy, could you please give Simone your expert opinion for her benefit? Simone, that was so exciting. You sing with such passion and you're one of the strongest dancers. I love it. Thank you, Miss Clancy. Which leaves me with Tigger and Tiger. My dears, I often wonder if you actually want this, or if you prefer to be in a circus wearing your normal shoes without being in a, a normal car. But today, you've shown us something, something good. Well done. Yay! She called us clowns! And you thought that was a compliment? Right, could all the members of the panel please give in their choice on a piece of slip of paper to Miss Sharp? She'll tell us who wins. Oh, it's my privilege, Miss Bilby, I shan't let you down. Oh, I think you're all very talented. But in this instance, our two chosen students are Lucy and Amanda. Congratulations, Amanda. This is your chance to shine. Thanks, Sam. We don't see too happy about it. Are you okay? Um, I don't know. I don't think I feel confident that I can... Oh, you've got to realise that if you don't believe in yourself, nobody else will. That's the thing. Dad, I don't know if I can do this. Everybody feels like that sometimes, but trust me, it parts. <laughs> Thank you. 
Philwood. Yes, Mr. Philwood. It's Feelgood. Mark Garden Shaw. I'm from a TV production company. You can call me Miss Smithers. And this is the cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not quite sure what you're going to point that thing at. I was thinking of students, but maybe there's a nice spatula or something in the ground. Right, um, <laughs> is Bella not going to choose our students? It's far too busy to do that herself. That's why I'm here. Right, I'm not fully qualified, right? Excuse me? <laughs> Last week, I chose the best of breed in Birmingham Pig Parade. Of course I'm qualified. Now, can we get on? There's a dreadful draft in here. Right, um, if that's what it's going to be. Amanda, Lizzie, come forward, please. Girls, in this song, Tina and Marie are both confused and alone. Drown me in your angst. <sighs> Amanda, you have to do 
Where's the glamour? Where's the spark? How could the product of a wretched environment like this look good on TV? Ursula, we have our work cut out for some Ella, darling, have trolls, plaster of Paris and wallpaper. I can make the not I can make the hunchback of Notre Dame gorgeous. You're exaggerating again, Ursula. Darling, I never <coughs> ever exaggerate. Ah, oh, Felicity. How delightful to see you in your little school. Bella, what a delight. Welcome to Philbert Academy. Oh, students, you all look so delighted to see me. Where's the production girl? Tell them what's his name to get some video footage of me with these less fortunate students.
be humiliated on national TV, my competition requires only the highest professional standard. I think Field has just forfeited its place in front of millions of TV viewers and all of these stage stars. What a dreadful shame. What are you going to do? Do? Oh, it's a tragedy, no doubt. And it'll be up to me to break the news. I'm not sure how well it will be received, as this is a disastrous setback for the Fielders. Bella? This, sorry, a felicity, terrible news. Who her mother is. 
who said you just don't get it. The only person who's helped Amanda is you. Don't leave me on my own, Jason! Lucy, don't you see you're already on your own? Everyone who's tried to help, you pushed away, and it's always their fault. Are you not bored of playing? Are you not bored of playing the victim? You need to take a serious look at yourself. When I look in the mirror, am I that girl I wanna see? What happened? 
Perhaps I shouldn't have told you why I left Maserati. Why well, didn't you? That's got to be, to nothing to do with you. I'll go after her. Bring her back to me safely, Jason. Felicity, about that conversation with your daughter. What about it? Well, I mean, I don't want to speak out of turn, but... But what? But have you gone mad? I beg your pardon? Well, would you have spoken to any other student like that? She's your daughter. And you're putting under her so much, so much pressure. But you need, no, no, you need not to be demanding, okay? But Amanda has to do this. You can't make her do anything. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. You cannot just force Amanda to do this. Ian, she can save the school. Our daughter is more important than this school. Felicity, are you sure this is not just all about you? I'm not going to come. Of what? Of you. Your talent. You have it all. 
He had right. Play one, remember? To stop them. You're many things. You're not plain. You're beautiful. Everyone thinks so. Like who? I think so. Don't you get it, Lucy? You have the most beautiful soul. And I see it every time you sing. I love the fact that you see the good in everyone. <laughs> Even Lucy. And most of all, I love you. You're just saying that. <laughs> no, I'm not. I love you, Amanda. <laughs> see? I've said it again. Why? I'm such a county. You had your reasons. 
just wanted it so badly. I really hope I can do this. Mama, stop scaring me. You've got a better voice than me, and parents actually care. Look, even I don't. There was no Australia in the summer. Really? <coughs> yeah, my father made me work so I could finish my last term there. Parents? What's my nightmare? So, which one of these unfortunate students get the chance to come out of this? Oh my goodness, Ian Fieldgood, I was wondering when you'd crawl out of the woodwork. This really is a family affair, isn't it? Bella, man is our best student. Well, at least the best of them have had the opportunity to appear on video with me. Let's not waste any more of my time, shall we? Amanda, I have one more piece of advice for you. I'm waiting. Mother, let's go. TikTok. Listen to your mother, man. She knows what she's talking about. Time's up. Do it for you. Put down your pen, dear, there's nothing more to see. 
here? On the contrary, I should have received royalty payments for every single performance of Marcarotti, and I didn't. And as the original composer, I had the legal right to reclaim my shares. <laughs> Rubbish! Really? Could you check that out, uh, thingy? I You poor thing. That's childhood, isn't it? Bella, I don't want to have to do this, but I'm going to. Blackmail, now you're talking my language. Amanda, darling, welcome aboard. <laughs> <laughs> 